In this video, we're going to learn how to count the even numbers in an array using C. So first we'll declare an int type array called array, which will initialize with the numbers 2, 4, 1, 7, 9, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 12. So in this array, we have 10 numbers total. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means this array has a length of 10. What we'll do is store that length into an int type variable called length with int length is equal to 10. Now each element in this array is stored at an index. So for example, two here is stored at the index zero, four is stored at the index one, one is stored at the index two, and so on for the rest of the numbers in this array. Now an even number is an integer which is divisible by two. What that means is if we take an even number and divide it by two, we'll get a remainder of zero. So for example, eight is an even number and eight divided by two will give us four, remainder zero. And this remainder of zero, when dividing eight by two, tells us that eight is an even number. Whereas if we look at nine, nine is an odd number, and nine divided by two is going to give us four, remainder one. And this remainder of one, when dividing nine by two, tells us that nine is an odd number. So now we have a way to check if a number is even. If we divide the number by two and get a remainder of zero, that tells us the number is even. Now in C, there's an operator called modulus, which is going to give us the remainder of a division operation. So for example, 8% 2, where percent is the modulus operator, is going to give us the remainder of zero. Whereas nine modulus two is going to give us one, because one is the remainder of nine divided by two. Now to count the even numbers in this array, what we'll do is examine each number in this array from the first number in the array all the way to the last number in the array. And each time we'll check to see if that number is even by dividing that number by two using modulus. And if we get a remainder of zero, that will tell us we found another even number. And we'll increment a running count of the total number of even numbers we found. Now to examine each number in the array, what we'll do is use a for loop. We'll have a for loop with a counter variable i, which will initialize to zero. So in the first loop iteration, i is going to be here, the index of the first element in the array. And we'll use i to examine this number. Then what we'll do with each loop iteration is increase i by one. So in the next loop iteration, i is going to be here at the index one, and then we'll examine this number in the array. Then in the next loop iteration, i is going to be here at the index two, and we'll use i to examine this number in the array. Now, once i is no longer less than length, we'll have gone past the end of the array and we can stop. So we'll have the condition i is less than length. And we'll stop this loop once i is no longer less than length. Then in the loop body, we'll check to see if the number we're examining at the index i is even by dividing that number by two using modulus. And if we get a remainder of zero, that tells us we have an even number. And if we have found an even number, we'll increment a running count of the total number of even numbers that we found. So we'll declare an int type variable called total even, and we'll initialize this variable to zero because before examining any elements in the array, we haven't found any even numbers yet. Then as we find each even number, we'll increment total even by one. So here we'll have total even plus plus to increment total even by one each time we find an even number. So by the time this loop is done, we'll have counted all the even numbers in this array. And in this array, we have one, two, three, four even numbers. Let's output total even to confirm this. So down here, we'll call printf and we'll pass the string total even colon followed by percent %d to output an int value followed by backslash n for a new line. And then we'll output total even here. So if we save compile and run the program, we do get that we have four even numbers, which is correct. So one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function so we could call the function in different places in our program. So up here, we'll declare the function. We'll have int for the return type because the function is going to return the total number of even numbers in the array it's passed as an argument. We'll call the function count even the function is going to be passed the array and the length of the array as arguments. So we'll have the parameters int array and int length. 
Then we'll copy this and supply a definition of the function down here. And all we'll do for the function body is just cut and paste the logic into the function body. So we'll take this here and cut it and we'll paste it here into the function body. And this code is going to work exactly as it did before because we have the same parameter names as the variable names that we used previously. And all we'll do is return the total even count. So here we're going to have return total even. Then up here in the main function, we can call this function. So we'll have int total even is equal to, and we'll call count even and pass it the array and the length of the array. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here again that we have four even numbers, which is correct. So this is how we can count the even numbers in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.